it. This is Santos Rolon Jr. here on Next Level Consulting. Today is Father's Day, and I hope that you made it a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day in spite of and because of. And I also hope that others made it for you that way if you're a father. And, of course, if you're a mother, too. Anyways, I wanted to uh, take a few minutes out this afternoon and share uh, a little message that I'm hoping to keep as short as possible here on this video as I uh, as I get inspired to share my uh, progressive messages. I, I don't really call myself a motivational speaker anymore. I, I'm more of a progressional speaker. I believe in I believe in change. I believe in in making change. Uh, for progress I don't I don't just want to change do you do you want to just change change your life many people talk about change we really what we really want and what we're really after is progress isn't that what you're after you want progress you want progress in your life you want progress in your relationships you want progress in your business you want progress in your thought life isn't that isn't that what you want? I tell you, that's what I strive for every single day. And today uh, is another blessed day that our Creator has given us. And I was thinking earlier, or actually a few minutes ago, I was thinking on the topic of failure. Why have I failed online in businesses? Why have you failed online? In businesses and why are so many people today failing online now let me give a little uh, a, disc a disclosure here I want to say first of all I'm not a multi-level marketing guru okay uh, my goal on, on next level consulting via srolon.com s-r-o-l-o-n.com which actually leads to my my YouTube site. I enjoy creating videos. I enjoy sharing lectures, speeches, and I must say I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this thing because I haven't been doing this for years like Les Brown or Zig Ziglar. Of course, Zig Ziglar is no longer with us. Tony Robbins. I'm sure you you know who Tony Robbins is. Uh, and who's who? Are the other greats, uh, Stephen Covey and. Boy, there's many, many uh, lectures and motivational, uh, progressional speakers, as I like to call them today, that have had input in my life, and I'm sure they've had input in your life. Earl Nightingale, Napoleon Hill, many, many greats. Now, I wanted to take this, this, uh, this video, and I wanted to talk about failure. And what could be the result of failure? Because there's a lot of people that are failing online. And I, I came to the conclusion in my life after some questioning and some deep searching in my soul, some, some, uh, some visualization, and of course, education, because I'm always getting educated by successful mentors and coaches that I have via video, blogs, and and sometimes even on a physical level, if I could speak to some via phone. Now, let me ask you a question. If if you had all the money in the world, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go all out here. If you had all the money in the world in a bank or coming to you every month, and you had all the time that you wanted, what would you do? Where would you go? Who, what kind of people would you be associated with? It's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat when you can sit down and answer that question for yourself. Most people I ask that question to, most, <laughs> I ask those questions to can't really answer me. Because those are very deep, thought-provoking questions. And it wasn't until I started questioning myself 
why am I failing in multi-level marketing? Why am I failing in business online, period? Why are businesses failing, period, out in the marketplace? You can go out into town where you live and you've seen businesses go up and come down. In fact, you've probably been in restaurants where you were eating a good meal and you noticed that the servers or the waiters weren't that friendly or they just didn't seem to care. I think about these things when I'm out in the marketplace. I'm always observing people and because I'm a people person, I like to meet new people and I like to, you know, my brain is always thinking. I'm, I'm just a brainstormer. That's, that's why I do what I do on Next Level Consulting. My goal, my goal for being online and in, in several social media sites that I'm on is to blog, micro blog, as I call it. And to brand myself so that I can help people like myself, obviously, and like, you're, like you on the other side of the screen, if you can resonate with this message that I'm putting forth in this video, to keep from falling, to keep from making mistakes. My goal is to, is to help people succeed upstairs. My goal is to help people succeed in, in relationships and building relationships and establishing and keeping relationships. My goal is to help people succeed in their business, succeed in life, succeed on the job site. You know, there's a lot of people that don't want to build a business. They just want to become successful at their job. And, and that's fine with me. That's why I'm online. That's why I'm doing these videos on YouTube. And I hope that, by the way, I want to thank you for your time. If you've watched any more, any of my videos and you've been online with me here on on Next Level Consulting. I want to thank you for your time. Not only for your time, but your time upstairs too. The paradigm area. And uh, I appreciate you. I really honestly do appreciate you. And I want to throw a little, a little plug in here. In fact, actually I'm not even going to talk about that health product. I'll put a link below. Um, something that I found very remarkable that's been helping me health-wise on a very, very phenomenal level. I'm gonna put the link below um, because uh, the type of person that I am, I, I like everything natural. I like, I like organic things. I hate taking pills and I'm almost 50 years old. I still work out with weights and I hurt once in a while, but I found a natural remedy and I'm sharing that in my videos. I don't care about building a multi-level marketing business. That's not my goal. My goal is to develop my consulting business in the area of mentoring and coaching, progressional speaking, and life intervention. I love, I can't fix people, but man, I, I believe with all my heart that I can. <laughs> so I just love searching for answers. I like, I like finding out what makes people tick. And I just enjoy meeting new people and helping people. That's what I'm about. That's why I'm online branding myself. So, And I made this video to really question ourselves. Are we really in the right business? Are you in the right business? Earlier uh, in the video, I asked the question, if you could be anywhere, if you could be doing anything, if you had all the money, if you had all the time, what would you do? You know, it took me a little bit to find the answers to those questions. But when I did, I basically ended up leaving quite a few businesses that I was involved with online because I realized that I was not building my passion. I was not building my dream. Therefore, I was failing. Some businesses that we get into because of friends, we get excited because of a nice website, a free website, or a product that seems to work for a week or two. Or we just get into something because the hype, man, everybody's excited, come and see what, what, what's going on over here, the comp plan, we're getting ready to launch this business, we want you to get in at the bottom level. People are losing money left and right. People are jumping from business to business. They're, they're, they're what I call, what I used to call myself, a, an internet business rabbit. Just looking, searching, hoping for that, that golden ticket to get them 
into overnight success. And you know, most people are, are getting into businesses for the wrong reasons. One of them being because they want to make lots of money. Of course, if you get into business for the right reason and you have the right business that you're working every day, money's going to fall into play. Money's going to come at you. But there's, there are so many dynamics to building a business, you know, the tools, the relationship building, the phone calls, using proper ethics, integrity, honesty. A lot of that is no longer existing in a lot of businesses I find today. And that's, once again, that brings me to the point of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I find true passion in building my consulting business. I find true passion in helping others from falling and from failing and from getting ripped off. That's where I'm finding my passion today. And if you can relate, if you can resonate with this message, with what I'm sharing here, maybe the fact is, is that you're in the wrong business. Maybe you're trying to build something that you don't honestly feel passionate about. And you, you keep failing, you keep failing, and you're just, you know, you're hitting your head against the wall asking yourself, and hopefully you are asking yourself, why am I failing at this thing? Could it be that, could it be, my friend, on the other side of the screen that you're building the wrong business? Because I find that when you believe in something, when you want something bad enough in life, uh, you're willing to die for it. You're willing to die for what it is that you truly believe. That's going to make the difference. I've, I've listened to hours and hours and hours of lectures on people that taught, that teach about goal setting and, and achieving your dreams and and building your, your, your passion business, uh, turning a hobby into a business where you can make thousands of dollars. And I don't know why a lot of people just, they jump into business, but yet they don't question exactly what it is that they're doing. Of course, again, I'm, I think I, I, I didn't want to keep this video too long, but we really, really need to begin asking ourselves that question. Am I building the right business? Is, is this, am I passionate about what I'm doing? Is this thing burning in my soul, in my heart, day and night? Am I, am I willing to die for what I believe? When you believe, when you find your true passion business, it's going to develop confidence in you. You're going to continue to build it. You're going to look for, you're going to strategize. Because even though you have, it's your own business, it's your own passion business, it's your dream business, you're still going to fail. But the difference between failing in what you believe in and what's passionate to you versus something that is out there like a multi-level marketing business that you really don't feel passionate about is you're going to end up quitting that other thing. And you're going to look for the next shiny thing, the next new business down the block. And one thing I recommend to stay away from is new businesses. I highly recommend to stay away from a new business because new businesses fail on an average between 6 to 12 months. And of course, there are new startups out there that do succeed because there's good leadership behind it. There's good service behind it. There's good product behind it. Uh, but I would say probably the leadership that behind that business that's a new startup is, uh, is good company. So that's a little different. But most of these MLM companies that I call them smoke and mirrors, they're kind of ghost companies. They, they hit you up with a nice website or a nice email, and then you can't get a hold of anybody. You can't make contact with the leadership. They leave you hanging. <laughs> I've been there. I've done that. I'm glad that that's behind me. I'm glad that I'm no longer building that kind of a business. You know, I'm passionate about, about what I do. I love people. I want to see people succeed in life. And let me tell you that as we go on into 2016 and 2017, there's going to be many, many changes in the world. Company structures, leadership, a lot of that is going to change. And if we're not succeeding, if we're not building our own business, 
if we're not struggling to challenge ourselves on a daily basis to educate ourselves and to push ourselves to the next level of thinking, we're basically going to be stuck with, with crap jobs, with mediocre uh, jobs, and they're not going to be the living, the, the wages. It's not going to get us to where we need to be. Everything's uh, the cost of living, you know, uh, uh, food prices, and there is no food shortage. There's food all over the place. There's money. There's a river of money that we can tap into. You know, instead of having, instead of us chasing money, we should have money chasing us. Instead of us working for money, we should be making money work for us. It's all about an educational process. But I don't want to get too far away here from what I really wanted to talk about in this video. And that is, if you're failing, start asking yourself the question. Start seeking your own passion. Start uh, wanting uh, to, desi to desire your own dream business is what I'm really getting at here. So I'm open for conversation. I'm open for brainstorming sessions. I'm open to uh, get on the stage and speak to uh, companies, speak to presidents. Why? If, I'll, if I get an invitation to speak, to speak to the president of the United States on change, I'd be more than willing to do that. I would rack my my brain and and search my schedule and uh, and do that also. I'm looking forward to finishing my book soon. I'm writing a book. I'm looking forward to radio. I want to get out on radio and promoting more videos here on my YouTube channel and uh, the other social media sites that I'm on. I would highly encourage you to check out my library. Make contact with me. Check out my contents here in this video below. Comment below. And uh, subscribe to my channel, too. So with that said, this is Santos Rolon Jr. Uh, here on Next Level Consulting, making every day a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day daily in spite of and because of challenging you, challenging me. I will see you at the top on my next video.